weather with Damian Lotus. We had another warm and windy day here across the state of Oklahoma. Hot for some folks. But heading into tonight, we'll be watching out for some thunderstorm chances, but the main risk of severe weather kicks off as we head throughout tomorrow evening. Let's go ahead and start you off here with a live look at our storm scanner. I was tracking some severe thunderstorms here across far northern Oklahoma, but as you can see, over the last hour since these storms crossed into Kansas, they have died. So just some light showers just to the north of the Oklahoma Kansas border. That's going to be about it for the rest of our thunderstorm chances for this evening. Right now we are still very warm 80 degrees at 915 here on your Monday evening for Oklahoma City. We still got some strong south winds gusting 20 to 30 miles an hour and that's going to be the theme here as we head into tonight. I'll be tracking partly cloudy skies but winds tonight for your early Tuesday gusting out of the south 30 to 40 miles an hour. So I wanted to prepare you for that for tonight. We're going to see some very strong winds across the state. Overnight lows will be a mix of 60s and 70s. So it will be a mild start here for your early Tuesday morning. And for your hour by hour pet forecast here for your Tuesday, this is Finley. He's available for adoption from Sky Took, Paws and Claws, Animal Rescue. And hey, he loves to lounge and he would love to lounge with your family because he's looking for a forever home right now. For the forecast tomorrow, I'll be tracking a very mild start here for tomorrow. We'll see highs making it to the upper 80s, low 90s across the state, but there will be a threat of severe weather back in the forecast. So future track radar, I'm stop, stopping the clock here at 5 p.m. We will see a front making its way across northern and western Oklahoma. Along that leading edge, we will see a line of showers and thunderstorms developing. The primary risk for large hail and damaging winds will be across western Oklahoma, as you can see right here. For the Oklahoma City Metro, our timeline for storms to move in will be between about 6 to 7 o'clock. So up until that time, you're A-OK. -okay. But after that, you need to get home, you need to hunker down, you need to pay attention to the forecast because we will see a line of thunderstorms moving in. Large hail, damaging winds, even an elevated tornado threat for some parts of the state. By about 10 o'clock, this is tomorrow evening, we'll still see some isolated showers and thunderstorms. Severe weather still possible as we head throughout even the evening hours. Now before the storms move in, we'll still see highs making it to the upper 80s to low 90s. So still gonna be warm and windy before the storms move in. So here's the overall threat for severe weather on Tuesday. This is tomorrow's forecast. Primary risk will be across northern and western Oklahoma. And the main risk I'm looking out for will be a large hail threat. Take a look at this. We could see some tennis ball size hail possible across northern and western parts of the state. Here for the Oklahoma City Metro, we can see up to quarter plus size hail developing here with some of these storms as they move in. And for the overall tornado threat for your Tuesday, right around 5 to 10 p.m., that's when we'll see the primary threat. It's going to be mainly across western Oklahoma. We'll have our team of trackers here out across the state to bring you the latest. And then on Wednesday, the overall threat's going to move from northern Oklahoma into central parts of the state here right along the I-40 corridor. And then we'll see some lingering thunderstorm chances on Thursday, mainly for central and eastern parts of the state. And for most of these storms, large hail, damaging winds will be the main threats. But I'm also watching out for some heavy rainfall, so flooding will be an issue as well. Seven day forecast tracking some warm weather tomorrow afternoon. We'll see the storms move in right around 5 to 6 p.m. And then after that, yeah, tracking some shower and thunderstorm chances, severe weather for Tuesday evening into the day Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, we'll see some lingering shower and thunderstorm chances, highs in the 70s. That'll be a Nice little welcome relief. And then as we head into the weekend, we'll see temperatures rebound. I'll put a 20% chance on the forecast for Saturday and Sunday. Overall, it looks like it's going to stay dry, but I can't rule out the possibility of a few mm -hmm. stray showers developing. But overall, watching out for that threat of severe weather. Make sure you pay attention to the forecast. We'll keep you forewarned. And things should start being, uh, or popping off rather, around 6 or 6.30? Yeah, up until about 5 to 6. We're all right, but okay. around that time, that's when you need to get home. Get home yep. around 6.30, 7-ish, and yes. download the Forewarn Me app. There you go. That'll be helpful. Company woman. There uh, you go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Damien. Well, straight ahead, 